All right, guys. It is an absolutely spectacularly gorgeous. I am talking an over-the-top and beautiful, and it feels like it. It is the last day of winter 2024. Seems a little early. It is Tuesday, March 19th, 2024. <clears throat> Down here at the dock, having my planet-saving organic cup of coffee uh, saying goodbye to winter I am sitting here in an Alaska parka in Uggs and I guess it's gonna be colder tonight than it was last night I guess when do we hit the we hit the equinox at 1106 p.m. tonight The temperature will be plunging. It will be 38 degrees in Denellen, Florida. On the, uh, I guess that's officially the first hours of spring 2024. But uh, you look at this. I am not complaining. I am back down to uh, playing God on my new real estate investment. In uh, Inverness, Florida. Oh boy. I am busting my ass playing God, welcoming the spring of 2024. We are not going to see 80 degrees for about a week. Uh, I think the high today is 65 on the last day of winter and I absolutely love it little dog and I are going to seize the day seize the last day of winter and uh, <laughs> hack away find out what we bought I've already managed to uh, I had to buy a $64 new blade for the bushwhacker yesterday uh, heading out to buy a new $30 chain for my uh, chainsaw we will have brand new bushwhacking blades brand new chains for the chainsaw I've got my brand new chaps so I don't cut my leg off it's probably wear a helmet for those damn trees getting caught up in the vines. But anywho, the future is so bright in the central Florida real estate market. I have got to wear shades. Yepers. All right, and tonight uh, I will be, Elliot Jacobson and I will be discussing this new article that I read and from Salon Magazine over at <laughs> Collapse Chronicles last night where James Hansen and a bunch of these other climatologists are claiming no such thing, no such thing as climate tipping points. Uh, so, there you go, the myth of tipping points. No such a thing. Or even if they do tip over, they are reversible. I, I think my, Elliot and I will be having some fun with this article. This one, a uh, climatologist, some woman can't remember her name. She was claiming my favorite, if you missed that rant last night, was, okay, let's say the Amazon rainforest does, which it will, collapse. The Amazon rainforest collapses into, you know, basically a dry savanna. Uh, <clears throat> thousands of species will go extinct. Uh, no telling uh, what it will do to global temperatures. It will be the, well, certainly uh, one of the top ten ecological disasters ever produced by the by the human race while she doesn't deny that the Amazon rainforest can 
collapse that it's not necessarily, that does not mean it's irreversible. Okay. Uh, if we can't turn it around now, we can't turn the freight train, freight train around now, don't worry, even if the Amazon freight train goes over the cliff and the Amazon rainforest collapses, she doesn't know if that is an irreversible process or not. And of course, James Hansen claiming that the extinction of a... <laughs> That, uh, that an extinction of a species uh, <clears throat> is, is, does not fit the definition of a tipping point. I was thinking, yeah, I don't really want to interview a passenger pigeon, whether they uh, extinction of a species can be considered a tipping point, at least in the evolution of that species. Uh, so one one, uh, <laughs> one one part that we'll be talking about is what was it? I don't have the article in front of me. Obviously, I'm sitting out here drinking my coffee. Something like <clears throat> future historians. I don't know what kind of heron this is. <clears throat> future historians may look back on certain events that are unfolding right now, assuming there are any future historians, that they don't eliminate the possibility that future historians will look back at today, you know, the 21st century essentially, and conclude that that event was in fact a tipping point. But those of us who are actually living through the tipping point right now don't recognize it as a tipping point. And this, of course, now includes James Hansen. Uh, he does not rule out the fact that we could be and just not realizing it. So I'm... Uh, I'm I, I'm, I'm going through the possible list of uh, <laughs> the, the possible list of tipping points that we might be living through right now that future historians will look at like, well guys, uh, <laughs> maybe you should have realized this while it was happening and instead of writing these absurd articles for Salon. But one thing, you know, so much of this article, like recently, like that bullshit decision on not calling this the Anthropocene, it, it, it's semantics, and, and, and it's like they were framing the article as tipping point that there is only one that there is one event in that will unfold that when that one event happens that at least civilization if not life on the planet will you know hit an irreversible tipping point and other than I'm thinking have I ever heard a fellow doomer claim that there's going to be one particular event like on you know on March 20th 2024 we weren't in the tipping point but March 21st and other than these goddamn clueless fucking moron near term uh, human extinction clowns uh, led by the uh, by the cult leader uh, claiming that the blue ocean event is somehow that the ice what what is the definition it's 
But you know, I sound like book hermit here. I, but I, but I agree a hundred percent. The definition of a blue ocean event is when the Arctic ice gets less than one million square kilometers, and for a week or two in September, that the Arctic ice recedes to less than one million square kilometers, let's say this, this September, that next year the global food production will, in effect, there will be no food grown next year. If the, if the Arctic ice gets less than one million square kilometers in September of this year, that next year uh, there will be a global mass famine and billions of people will die. I guess civilization will collapse and by 2026, or is it 2030 at the latest, there will not be a human left on the planet. So not counting those clueless fucking morons who are anybody who believes in one word of that bullshit. Uh, it, it, it's so fucking clueless that I'm embarrassed to share the name Doomer with them, but not counting those fucking buffoons uh, the near-term human extinction crowd, uh, I, have, I have certainly never said that there is going to be one, one event uh, that is going to collapse civilization in this planet. It is, I, I, I'd call it the toxic stew is the word I have always used, the toxic stew of humanity uh, and trying to parse out one item in the toxic stew. It, 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 it's everything. There's eight billion fucking humans on this planet is the tipping point. I gotta wrap this up and head to work. Bye, guys.